Hey y'all. Happy Saturday. <sighs> Sounds like it might come rain right now. I'm not too happy about that. I mean, I love the rain, as I mentioned earlier. I just wasn't ready for it. But it's okay. Okay. I go out in all of the elements. So. Let's get into this business. Um, let's talk about friendship. It's amazing how you have your, your, your friendships from when you were younger. Some of them have blossomed into great adult friendships. Some of them have faded all the way away. Some of them have been halfway away. So, you know, you go down Han 21st Street, I'm going to go down Han 24th. If I meet up with you on the Han 23rd, hey, how you doing? We good, right? And you, you kind of wonder sometimes when you look back in hindsight of some of the things that had taken place. Some of the things that you had accepted that you shouldn't have. Um, sometimes they were toxic and sometimes you may have been the toxic person. I get, look, I give it up. If I'm the toxic one, so be it. Do what you have to do to make yourself better. And if that means getting from around me, because guess what, while you're doing that, you're also making me better too. Because if I'm toxic with you, then that's a problem. And see, a lot of times we hang around folk and we got our eyes wide shut. They open and close at the same time. You see it, but you overlook it. You act like it ain't there. You act like it's not happening. Or it won't happen to me. They won't do me like that. No, they won't do that because they love me so much. They love me so much. They won't do that to me. And then sometimes you find yourself failing. And you find yourself doing some things that you never thought you would do. Saying some things you never thought you would say. That's when you have to get back to the ownership. And taking responsibility for your own actions. Now, here's the thing. I think at this point in my life, and I've been thinking this for quite some time now, for quite a few years now, God and the universe will separate you when things are supposed to get different. Everything ain't going to always be the same. See, people start to think different. People start to feel different. Then you start to get a revelation this part <clears throat> you start to get a revelation on how people really feel about you so you've been in my face all this time that's what you really think about me and you supposed to be my friend and you couldn't come and you couldn't tell me I would cuss right now I'm trying I'm trying huh. and we like homegirl I, 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 whoop de whoop. But instead, you carry that to everybody but the person you're supposed to say it to. And then your actions speak louder than your words. And when everybody's eyes start opening, everybody realize, okay, uh-uh, uh go, 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 okay. But it's nothing bad about that. That's called living life. Experiencing different people, different things in life. That's what life is. That time in between, like they say, when you born, that dash in between when you die. That's it. That dash. And that dash could be wavy as a mother. It's about what you do with it. How you digest it. And if you have to regurgitate, how you regurgitate? Are you going to be messy? Or are you going to run to the bathroom and get it right? So that you don't just throw it everywhere. If it ain't for you, you need to let it go. Sometimes we try too hard because we're so busy around here. People pleasing. And they ain't doing nothing but soaking it up and using you. And it ain't always monetary. 
Huh? People will use you, period. In any way possible. And you think you're just being nice. No, you're not being nice. You're being used. But when you have a solidified friendship, y'all go through battles, y'all go through what you would swear folks was married. Jesus. The trenches and those friendships that make it, what they say you go through the fire and you come out as pure gold. When they make a sword and they put it through that hot flame and they, they, they chisel it and they shave it and they shape it and they make it and you see that red, because that fire is hot. And if you make it out of that and you still friends, mm -hmm, that part. That part. And then you get to the point where you, you, you surpass all of that stuff. And not saying that you still might bicker or disagree. I mean, come on now. I'm not conforming to nobody's stuff. So if I don't agree, I don't agree. Uh-uh, that's purple. That ain't blue. Uh, okay, well, you say it's blue. Okay, but I said it's purple. And we're going to leave it at that. So now it's purple and blue. If, leave it to me. So if you make it through those trenches, and you still friends, I'm I ain't look. I'm talking about the deep trenches. I ain't even gonna get into. <laughs> I'm not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. But my point is, when you make it through those things, and you still at least respect one another, and can say hi to one another. That's a big deal. The next level is the friends that she went through the trenches with. And y'all still friends, 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 friends. Y'all still sit at the table and eat together. Hmm. Because you can look one another in the face and be alright with it. It ain't no phoniness going on. Oh, why waste your time being phony? Come on. Look. Mm-mm. 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 I'm over that part. I can't do it no more. I can't be phony. I can't people please. No means no. Stranger danger. It's time out. But when you have solidified friendships. And you have solidified bonds. And you can actually go through some stuff. And you can sit and you can look them eye to eye and apologize authentically and they feel your apology versus feel like mm, mm, nah but if they feel your apology and you feel theirs and y'all can move on and y'all can act like ain't nothing happened I'm not saying you forget okay huh because we're not stupid our brains work you could forgive and not forget we all know that we we, we know that but when you could get past stuff and move along properly and at that point know not to cross those lines or not to do that anymore or not to go that route anymore and you could still be authentic friends and have a good time when y'all get together and build each other up, share ideas and whatever and, 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 and celebrate one another's success and all of that stuff, that's where you know you have a friendship. It's unfortunate sometimes friendships fade away. You thought it was going to last forever. I mean, how many times we thought we was going to last forever with our first love? We thought we was going to be passing out and we was going to be at the front of the church in the coffin if, we, if this relationship doesn't work. And guess where you are right now? Watching this video. But they also said, choose your friends wisely. See, but the thing is, when you're choosing friends, it takes time. It's not like you just going to the store and you, I want this shoe, I want that pocketbook, I want that bag, I want that. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You have to pay close attention, especially nowadays. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. 
This is a whole different level. You have to pay attention. Okay? You have to use all of your eyes. Huh? All of them. And you have to use your heart and your spirit. And guess what? You have a choice. Just like in a relationship, you have a choice. You don't have to stay. You don't have to be there. You don't have to take the abuse. And maybe you need to check yourself. Maybe you're the toxic one and you need to remove yourself so that person can live a better life. Huh? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it ain't always them now. Let's not get it twisted. Sometimes it's you. Because you don't got it together. And you fishing around looking for stuff so bad that you're doing whatever it is just to keep somebody close to you. And you're doing all the wrong things. Because, honey, that's not for you. They're not for you. Friend, lover, whatever. And you're not for them. They say all things... Every good thing must come to an end. There's also a song that says everything must change. Nothing stays the same. Except raindrops from the sky. There's certain things that don't change. They might move around. But that's one thing that's guaranteed. And one thing that's guaranteed to all of us on top of that is when you leave this earth, everything in between, we don't know. Even if you had a plan, sometimes that plan goes left. Anywho, I've been talking way too long because I don't do over 10 minutes. I'm just saying. This is a new era of friendships. You know, when you're young. And, look, I just threw away my um my yearbook. I just threw that away. Because I got sick of it being in the house. I know it's a treasure. I read some of the stuff. And everybody like, keep in touch. And friends forever. Congratulate. Half of them mofos. We ain't call each other. We grown now. Some, God forbid, Ace not here. Everybody got kids. Everybody done moved over. Some people's living on Mars, wherever. But in your mind, that day, oh, we won't be friends today because we was in school together for four years. We went to lunch together for four years. And guess what? Ain't been to lunch since. And could care less. Because ain't nobody was reaching for nobody. Unless you already had a real bond as a friend at that time. The rest of that stuff was just, we was going through the motions. I'm, I'm happy to say that I have some people that I'm still close with from when I went to school. But overall, if you get the point I'm trying to make, half of that stuff go out the window. People do this. And sometimes it's just for the moment. Do you ever go out having a good time? You having a little sippy sip? You at the bar, at the lounge? You have to tell a good conversation with a couple of people. People exchange numbers and never dial that number again. Because it was the feel good moment. But then you're like, I don't feel like entertaining that. I don't even want to get into that. I don't even want to know the backstory. I don't even, I don't even want to try to build a friendship with that. So when you have authenticity in your friendships, hold on to it. And when you and your friend or your friends can go through some real stuff and come back around, because it's heartfelt. That's it. But when it gets to a point now, it's like it could be like a pair of sneakers. When they get worn out, and the soles is coming off, and the tongue is hanging left, and the shoestrings is messed up, 
sometimes you gotta let it go. Gotta hang them up on the light pole. And look at it like, oh, okay, that was, that was, that was. That was nice. Anyhow, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to get into the comment section. And um, don't mind me.